Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another Block Tech Tips. Today I have the uh, unboxing and of course this one is from X-Dragon. And of course X-Dragon was kind enough to send this product over for review. And I'm really excited about this one guys as um, number one X-Dragon products tend to be very solid products in my experience. Um, one of the products I've had from them that I bought personally before was their um, power bank. Um, there is still a review of that on the channel if you can actually find that. All right, so but over, however, the X-Dragon team this time decided to send me over this particular product, which is a X-Dragon solar charger. Send me this X-Dragon solar charger, and I'm very excited as this is one of the devices I've always wanted to actually own. So big up to the guys over at X-Dragon. And of course, I'm going to give this my full review. As I said, this is from X-Dragon, and their, low, um, their motto is Power Your Life. And of course, they deal with um, battery banks. They create um, stuff like um, solar panels and so on. So as I said, this is the um, X-Dragon solar panel. Now, based on that, it can be used in cases where you don't have power or you have gone um, camping and you'll need um, something to deliver power to charge your laptops, your cell phones and devices like these. All right. So of course, it comes in this plain box. There is nothing much to the, um, the packaging. So it's just a plain packaging X-Dragon all around. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up. Now, of course, there is this um, lovely pouch on the inside. And let me retrieve this. Of course, here you go. And of course, along with this, you do get a bunch of connections. And these connections are, there's this um, portion for what I think is charging inside of a car. All right. Next, we have these which looks like clips that you can use to jumpstart stuff. So based on what I'm um, assuming here, this might be able to use to jumpstart um, cars and so on. So it's very flexible. And of course, again, we have these multiple heads that can fit what seems to be almost um, any laptop or device, which is nice again. All right, so there is this user manual. We'll need this for later on. And of course, there is a loop for um, affixing it and of course there is this micro usb cable and of course again guys there is another um, charge port device not sure what this is again so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to put this aside and i'm going to get this out of the way this box is huge all right so let's continue the unboxing so of course the case is much smaller so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to adjust um, things for you guys love the pouch and of course let's look at what the pouch says here it says solar charger it says x dragon and of course i love the x dragon logo with the g being shown as a red dragon this is really cool the material is a canvas type like material there's the back this thing feels like really durable and of course we have these sections right here and what i'm gonna do here guys i'm gonna open this up and right away we can see the innards and I don't think my desk is big enough but I'll try my best to show you what's going on here and of course it unfolds here we go so this is the main section I think the main thing is on the inside I'm just gonna do this off camera and get it set up for you guys all right guys so I had to switch things up a bit I had to actually use the floor as the surface area for this thing is huge so actually it was just folded together. As you can see here, these are the solar panels. And of course these solar panels give you this great surface area. And the idea here is that the more surface area you have, you can actually maximize charging. And this thing is way beyond anything I was um, expecting. Of course you can place this out um, in um, the sun, expose it, so you can um, maximize your uptake of solar rays and of course um, just based on my assumptions here, this seems to be the connection point right here. It should show when it's charging. And of course, you should be able to connect um, a input device here. And of course, from the said input device, you should be able to feed various devices. What I like is that there's a built-in USB port. And of course, that USB port should feed these things over here. So for example, here, I have this connector here, which I'm assuming works with this port. And so once you get that, you can actually connect various heads and these heads should affix itself to various laptops. So it's a matter of finding the right head to match with your laptop. 
Again, I must say I've never seen a product like this before. It's well thought out. As I said, these seems to be jumpers for your car. I'm going to read up on this later and there's the micro USB. This should charge um, almost any phone or standard phones. Of course, you could use your phone's cable to connect right here. I'm going to check this out in a bit as to what level of sunlight I'll need in order for this to work. And of course, guys, there's the portion for the car. There's the loops to hook this thing up. So I'm assuming that these sections can be hooked up, meaning you can suspend this um, in an area to keep it off the ground. There's about um, many connection points right here. There's another one. There's another one right here, here, and of course over here and here. So, and there's one right here. So this thing is very versatile. All right, um, so as I said before, I don't think I've missed anything. So we have all major connections. And again, guys, as I said, there's a LED indicator there. There's also this cool pouch, meaning you can carry along many of these things here. And you can actually fold this thing up and you'll be good to go. Again, I can't wait to check this out. I'm going to try this out on my laptop. I'm going to also try it out on my phone and other devices, all right? So I must say I'm very impressed. I hope you guys are getting the idea of this thing. As to scale, um, let's me use an item, a common household item to put alongside this so you can actually get an idea how large it is. All right, guys, um, for scale, this is the iPhone um, 11. And of course, this is just the standard edition iPhone 11. And of course, let me put this alongside here. Notice the iPhone 11 right there. So you see that this thing is pretty huge. I could actually fit roughly one, two, three iPhone 11s along this side. And for this side, I could fit one, two, three, four, five for the main section. And probably a sixth one for the extension section over here. So that helps for scale. Hey guys, so it's a real hot day out. We have the solar panel all hooked up. And of course, as recommended in the guide that came with this device, I have um, made sure I place this in direct um, sunlight. Also, I noticed that this thing is getting real hot. So it's the middle of the day. The sun is at its peak. And of course, the solar panels are well exposed. Of course, I have my handy smartphone on the ground. And of course, check this out guys, once this is charging, you'll see right here that the LED is on. I don't know if you can see it, but it's on right now. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to do a quick test. I have this USB and I'm going to connect it right here. And of course, I'll have to pause a bit. Alright guys, so it's very difficult to see in this light. And of course, um, outside in the um, heat of the day, you might can be able to see the screen a bit. But of course, do forgive all of this. And of course, to test this out, I have the adapter. So um, listen out for the charging sound once it's connected. There you go. So of course, that's the charging sound. It says charging and it does show the percentage. The percentage is currently at 57%. And of course, it's now getting regular charging. This is great if you're gone um, camping or so on, or you're out in the field can actually charge your devices so solid performance so far this thing is delivering a lot of power and of course guys while that's being charged check this out guys the sun panels as I said get very hot that's normal um, they have uh, what's this four panels total for optimum solar uptake and this thing is um, pushing out a lot of juice um, you can see also that it's this nice black finish and of course, once you have your cables, you're good to go. You could charge up multiple devices as long as it supports um, USB. Next, I'm gonna try, try something uh, much larger, such as a laptop. So stay tuned for that. All right, guys, so check this out. For the laptop, it's a different setup. As you can see here, you have my Acer laptop. In order to allow this to work, what I had to do was in the box, you do get all of these extra stuff like that. But of course, what I did was to check out my original adapter and I found that this plug right here, which is connected right here, would be the one that I'll use. And of course, what I'm gonna do now is I have this cable right here, which shows this connector, which is on the on the panel itself. So I'm gonna hook this up and I'm gonna hook this into the solar um, system outside. All right guys, so it has been a minute and of course i'm gonna just be and i don't really literally mean a minute i'm gonna see how far along we are as you can see there guys we are um, charging at 63 
um, percent. So we were at roughly about um, 57 percent. We're now at 63 percent. This thing is a beast, and I'm very impressed with the charging speed. All things considered, we're nowhere near a outlet, but of course this thing is working like a champ. So of course, optimum sun exposure needed for best results and it does show charging. So now I'm gonna hook up the laptop. As you can see here guys, the laptop is ready. I'm just gonna disconnect my cell phone. All right, so the adapter is set up and of course everything is hooked up. So I'm gonna plug this in. And of course the laptop, everything is fed to this cable right here. Let me just move this one out of the way and it's feeding into the laptop. Now of course, the best way to charge the laptop would be while it's off. So let's check the side to see if we're getting the charging symbol, which is the LED at these sides here. All right, so far I'm not seeing anything, so I'm going to just to make some checks. All right, guys, so the sun is brutal, and of course it's hard to see the screen, but you can see some flicker in the background. All right, so of course it took quite a few tries, but actually to get the correct head that fits my laptop, I had to mess around a bit. Now, of course, um, it was the one I was expected. So, of course, for my Ace, I was thinking this yellow one here. Then I tried this one. And, of course, all of them fit. But the one that actually turned out to be the um, true um, one would be this one right here. That gave me a charge. Now, so, guys, you'll hear the charging sound. Forgive me for the dark display. There you go. That's the charging, um, the charging sound when the laptop is plugged in and you're actually getting power. So this thing is charging right now, solar panel. So it puts in enough power, charges bad boy up. So of course, I'm very impressed. So far, so good. Laptop charging in the sun using um, solar power. As you can see here, power has been delivered from the X-Dragon solar power, uh, solar panels back to the laptop for charging. You can also do stuff such as um, power banks, cell phones, you name it. If you're out of power, this thing can be used um, to deliver or charge up your devices, especially if you go camping, if there's a natural disaster, power outage, and of course a great device to have. Only thing you'd need is the sun, um, such as on a good day like this when the power is out, it will be working at its maximum. Loving this device from um, X-Dragon.